Alright, hi everyone. This is Sammy Lesseran and this is a tutorial on re-sculpting a briar. Um, I've done some tutorial work before, but um, I'm going to try to make this video simple and to the point. So, in, uh, when you're re-sculpting a briar, you're going to need a briar, obviously. Um, you're going to need epoxy sculpt, which I'll explain how it works in a minute. But epoxy sculpt comes in two parts, A and B. Um, you're going to need some wire or coil. Um, not really, you know, the flimsy jewelry kind of wire, but wire that's pretty heavy. Um, but not so heavy that you can't cut it with simple scissors. You're going to need some, um, whatever it's called, foil. You're going to need a few sculpting tools. Um, I just use like an old pencil. Uh, I have some sandpaper which helps with the sculpting. Um, I have some brushes for smooth inning. Um, <laughs> they're all hard from previous project. Some detailing things and I have a scalpel. You're also going to need a hot glue gun which I have over here and don't be stupid like me and forget to turn it off or unplug it when you are done. It is a fire hazard. Okay this is the model I'm going to be working on or re-sculpting. His stand is over here. Um, this is the Marty Jones model, I think. Mold? Not model. Mold. Um, this is the Frankel model. Um, and I, as you can see, I've cut off his head and neck. Um, his neck's over here, and he originally looks somewhat like this. Briars are hollow on the inside. Um, you'll going to want to make sure all of his shavings are out. The first thing you're going to do before you do any of the attachment of body parts is you're going to take some sandpaper and when you saw it off, when you saw off a plastic, it has like these little remnants of plastic. Um, just like if you were to saw off a piece of wood, like splinters, of little plastic splinters. And you'll have, you know, you might miss a mark and you'll be all cut up. So, um, I'm going to smooth them out a little, okay? So just do this until he's smooth or until you have his flaws or everything off that you want to do. And you'll sand again um, after you've applied the clay and it's dry and hard because the clay sometimes it gets a rough kind of texture to it and you can sand it out to make it a little smoother. So I'm just going to do this for a couple minutes. Okay, so once it's all sanded and um, you've got it where you want it, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of the wire, and the wire acts, it's, you got to think of it as um, anatomy, because it's the, the anatomy of the model. And you want it to be realistic, so you have to think in the anatomy of a real horse. So, um, we're going to take the wire now, and the wire is like the bone, it keeps the structure from, uh, from slouching or from, you know, from bending improperly. <laughs> I'm a wreck. Oh, they're over here. And then you're going to put the oil around the wiring, and that's going to act as the muscle. And finally, the clay is the skin. So what you do is you uh, get a piece of wire and you kind of sculpt it to where you want it to go. Um, you kind of measure where you want it. And if I want his head like way up here, I don't want it down there. Um, but I kind of want it up here. So that's where his head's going to go. Just 
start wrapping the wire in the foil. Coming down like an Armageddon flame I'm ashamed, the ones who died without a name Okay, so now that I have the model all foiled and glued, um, I can start applying the epoxy sculpt. Um, now the epoxy sculpt comes in two parts, A and B. Um, I might have already mentioned this in this video, but I will mention it again. A is the actual stuff, B is the hardener. So you take the same amount of both. I'm going to need a pretty good amount for the neck. But you try to judge wisely because it's pretty expensive and you don't want to waste it because once you mix it, you cannot put it back because it will harden and you will not be able to use it. Um, let's see here. So I'm just taking about the same amount of both and I'm going to start mushing them together. Sorry, you can't really see at this angle. Um, and I just mix them together until they're one color. Okay. Um, you're also going to need some sculpting tools. Um, I don't usually, I don't use actual sculpting tools, um, which would probably help me a lot, but I just use what's available. So I use, um, what do I use here? I used some makeup brushes um, for smoothening, which are these. They come in really handy when you're trying to get out those lumps. Um, I used some hardened paint brushes for some sculpting. I use an old pencil and I use a golf thingy. I can't remember what it's called. Um, those are my basic tools and uh, just really whatever will make a dent in your thing or whatever you think will work because it doesn't matter how you do it, it's the outcome, right? So once this is all mixed up and I put it up on my clays um, I'm going to start just take a little bit of this here Stand on the box, stomp your feet, start clapping Got a real good feeling, something bad about to happen Pulled up to the church, but I got so nervous Had to back it on up, couldn't make it to the service Grabbed all the cash underneath my mattress Got a real good feeling, something bad Okay, so once you have the basic clay on there and it looks all blotchy, you can start blending it, okay? Um, I typically just use my finger because it's easier and faster than using a tool. Um, so you're going to use your finger to blend in any bumps or crevices. And then you're going to start with that, and then if something looks off portion, you can add on then, okay? So, oops. Oh! Stay. Okay. I'm gonna wet your finger and just start smoothing. And it'll instantly start smoothing and neat. Smoothening in. God, I can't talk this one. Okay. 
You don't want to be totally flat because horses have muscle tones and uh, muscles that bulge out at certain um, areas when they're running or doing activities. So, but right now I'm just going to focus focus on smoothing out the skin. And make sure the edges are nice and smooth with the rest of the model because <laughs> I made the mistake of not doing that in my first one. And you can see where the clay starts and where the model begins. So um, a good tool for that is just a brush. You can kind of draw out the clay on to the model and then smooth it out with your finger when you're done with that. See how it kind of draws it out into the model. See how it makes like a hair kind of texture? This is also a really good um, technique for means. Okay, now that I've got the neck on and it's sculpted and I've done muscle detail and everything, I'm going to let it dry. Um, I don't think I'll do the mane until the neck is totally dry. And the neck should take about 24 hours, so I'll do the mane tomorrow. Um, but I smoothed out the skin with just my finger and did the detailing with a brush and then smoothed it out. So yeah, he looks pretty good proportioned. And uh, I have, I remember his muscles and where they should go and, um, Stand on the box, stomp your feet, start clapping. Got a real good feeling, something bad about it. It's pretty.